driving theory test practice. Topic for full video. Hazard awareness test with hints. Text yourself on your knowledge of hazard awareness. Here are 96 questions from the DVSA Revision Question Bank on recognizing and responding to hazards such as other road users and fixed hazards. Question 1 of 97. You go to a social event and need to drive a short time after. What precaution should you take? Avoid drinking alcohol on an empty stomach. Drink plenty of coffee after drinking alcohol. Avoid drinking alcohol completely. Drink plenty of milk before drinking alcohol. The correct answer is, avoid drinking alcohol completely. This is always going to be the safest option. Just one drink could put you over the limit and dangerously impair your judgment and reactions. Question 2 of 97. Some two-way roads are divided into three lanes. Why are these particularly dangerous? Traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. Traffic can travel faster in poor weather conditions. Traffic can overtake on the left. Traffic uses the middle lane for emergencies only. The correct answer is, traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. If you intend to overtake you must consider that approaching traffic could be planning the same maneuver. When you have considered the situation and have decided it is safe, indicate your intentions early. This will show the approaching traffic that you intend to pull out. Question 3 of 97. What is the main hazard the driver of the red car arrowed should be aware of? Glare from the sun may affect the driver's vision. The black car may stop suddenly. The bus may move out into the road. Oncoming vehicles will assume the driver is turning right. The correct answer is, the bus may move out into the road. If you can do so safely give way to buses signaling to move off at bus stops. Try to anticipate the actions of other road users around you. The driver of the red car should be prepared for the bus pulling out. As you approach a bus stop look to see how many passengers are waiting to board. If the last one has just got on, the bus is likely to move off. Question 4 of 97. You are on a motorway. You feel tired. You should carry on but go slowly. Leave the motorway at the next exit. Complete your journey as quickly as possible. Stop on the hard shoulder. The correct answer is, leave the motorway at the next exit. If you do feel tired and there's no service station for many miles, leave the motorway at the next exit. Find a road off the motorway where you can pull up and stop safely. Question 5 of 97. When may you use hazard warning lights? To park alongside another car. To park on double yellow lines. When you are being towed. When you have broken down. The correct answer is, when you have broken down. Hazard warning lights may be used to warn other road users when you have broken down and are causing an obstruction. Or are on a motorway and want to warn following traffic of a hazard ahead. Don't use them when being towed or when parking illegally. Question 6 of 97. An elderly person's driving ability could be affected because they may be unable to obtain car insurance, understand road signs. React very quickly. Give signals correctly. The correct answer is, react very quickly. Be tolerant of older drivers. Poor eyesight and hearing could affect the speed with which they react to a hazard and may cause them to be hesitant. Question 7 of 97. You are about to return home from holiday when you become ill. A doctor prescribes drugs which are likely to affect your driving. You should drive only if someone is with you. Avoid driving on motorways. Not drive yourself. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. The correct answer is not drive yourself. Find another way to get home even if this proves to be very inconvenient. You must not put other road users, your passengers or yourself at risk. Question 8 of 97. What should the driver of a car approaching the crossing do? Continue at the same speed. 
Sound the horn. Drive through quickly. Slow down and get ready to stop. The correct answer is, slow down and get ready to stop. Look well ahead to see if any hazards are developing. This way will give you more time to deal with them in the correct way. The man in the picture is clearly intending to cross the road. You should be traveling at a speed that allows you to check your mirror, slow down and stop in good time. You shouldn't have to brake harshly. Question 9 of 97. Why replace names painted on the road surface? To restrict the flow of traffic. To warn you of oncoming traffic. To enable you to change lanes early. To prevent you changing lanes. The correct answer is, to enable you to change lanes early. The names of towns and cities may be painted on the road at busy junctions and complex road systems. Their purpose is to let you move into the correct lane in good time, allowing traffic to flow more freely. Question 10 of 97. You are driving on a motorway. The traffic ahead is braking sharply because of an incident. How could you warn traffic behind you? Briefly use the hazard warning lights. Switch on the hazard warning lights continuously. Briefly use the rear fog lights. Switch on the headlights continuously. The correct answer is, briefly use the hazard warning lights. The only time you are permitted to use your hazard warning lights while moving is if you are on a motorway or dual carriageway and you need to warn other road users, particularly those behind, of a hazard or obstruction ahead. Only use them long enough to ensure your warning has been seen. Question 11 of 97. When approaching this bridge you should give way to bicycles, buses, motorcycles, cars. The correct answer is buses. A double-deck bus or high-sided lorry will have to take up a position in the center of the road so that it can clear the bridge. There is normally a sign to indicate this. Look well down the road through the bridge and be aware you may have to stop and give way to an oncoming large vehicle. Question 12 of 97. For which of these may you use hazard warning lights? When driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead. When you are double parked on a two-way road. When your direction indicators are not working. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. The correct answer is, when driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead. Hazard warning lights are an important safety feature. Use them when driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind you of danger ahead. You should also use them if your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. Question 13 of 97. What should you do as you approach this overhead bridge? Move out to the center of the road before going through. Find another route. This is only for high vehicles. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. Move across to the right-hand side before going through. The correct answer is, be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. Oncoming large vehicles may need to move to the middle of the road so that they can pass safely under the bridge. There will not be enough room for you to continue and you should be ready to stop and wait. Question 14 of 97. Your doctor has given you a course of medicine. Why should you ask how it will affect you? Drugs make you a better driver by quickening your reactions. You will have to let your insurance company know about the medicine. Some types of medicine can cause your reactions to slow down. The medicine you take may affect your hearing. The correct answer is, some types of medicine can cause your reactions to slow down. Always check the label of any medication container. The contents might affect your driving. If you aren't sure, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Question 15 of 97. When driving a car fitted with automatic transmission, what would you use kick down for cruise control? Quick acceleration, slow braking, fuel economy. The correct answer is, quick acceleration. Kick down, selects a lower gear, enabling the vehicle to accelerate faster. Question 16 of 97. 
Ahead of you, traffic in the left-hand lane is slowing. You should slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. Accelerate past the vehicles in the left-hand lane. Pull up on the left-hand verge. Move across and continue in the right-hand lane. The correct answer is slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. Allow the traffic to merge into the near side lane. Leave enough room so that you can maintain a safe separation distance. Even if vehicles pull in ahead of you. Question 17 of 97. You are on a dual carriageway. Ahead you see a vehicle with an amber flashing light. What could this be? An ambulance. A fire engine. A doctor on call. A disabled person's vehicle. The correct answer is... A disabled person's vehicle. An amber flashing light on a vehicle indicates that it is slow moving. Battery powered vehicles used by disabled people are limited to 8 miles per hour. It's not advisable for them to be used on dual carriageways where the speed limit exceeds 50 miles per hour. If they are then an amber flashing light must be used. Question 18 of 97. You are waiting to emerge at a junction. Your view is restricted by parked vehicles. What can help you to see traffic on the road you are adjoining? Looking for traffic behind you. Reflections of traffic in shop windows. Making eye contact with other road users. Checking for traffic in your interior mirror. The correct answer is, reflections of traffic in shop windows. When your view is restricted into the new road you must still be completely sure it is safe to emerge. Try to look for traffic through the windows of the parked cars or the reflections in shop windows. Keep looking in all directions as you slowly edge forwards until you can see it is safe. Question 19 of 97. What does this signal from a police officer mean to oncoming traffic? Go ahead. Stop. Turn left. Turn right. The correct answer is, stop. Police officers may need to direct traffic, for example, at a junction where the traffic lights have broken down. Check your copy of the highway code for the signals that they use. Question 20 of 97. Why should the junction on the left be kept clear? To allow vehicles to enter and emerge. To allow the bus to reverse. To allow vehicles to make a U-turn. To allow vehicles to park. The correct answer is, to allow vehicles to enter and emerge. You should always try to keep junctions clear. If you are in queuing traffic make sure that when you stop you leave enough space for traffic to flow in and out of the junction. Question 21 of 97. A driver's behavior has upset you. It may help if you... Stop and take a break. Shout abusive language. Gesture to them with your hand. Follow their car, flashing your headlights. The correct answer is, stop and take a break. Tiredness may make you more irritable than you would be normally. You might react differently to situations because of it. If you feel yourself becoming tense, take a break. Question 22 of 97. You're driving along a motorway and become tired. You should pull up on the hard shoulder and change drivers. Leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. Increase your speed and turn up the radio volume. Close all your windows and set the heating to warm. The correct answer is, leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. Plan your journey to include rest stops. This should ensure you don't become tired while driving and you arrive at your destination in good time. Question 23 of 97. A driver does something that upsets you. You should try not to react. Let them know how you feel. Flash your headlights several times. Sound your horn. The correct answer is try not to react. There are times when other road users make a misjudgment or mistake. When this happens, try not to get annoyed and don't react by showing anger. Sounding your horn, flashing your headlights or shouting won't help the situation. Good anticipation will help to prevent these incidents becoming collisions. Question 24 of 97. 
You see this sign on the rear of a slow-moving lorry that you want to pass. It is traveling in the middle lane of a three-lane motorway. You should cautiously approach the lorry then pass on either side. Follow the lorry until you can leave the motorway. Wait on the hard shoulder until the lorry has stopped. Approach with care and keep to the left of the lorry. The correct answer is, approach with care and keep to the left of the lorry. This sign is found on slow-moving or stationary works vehicles. If you wish to overtake, do so on the left, as indicated. Be aware that there might be workmen in the area. Question 25 of 97. You have just passed these warning lights. What hazard would you expect to see next? A level crossing with no barrier. An ambulance station. A school crossing patrol. An opening bridge. The correct answer is, a school crossing patrol. These lights warn that children may be crossing the road to a nearby school. Slow down so that you're ready to stop if necessary. Question 26 of 97. When the traffic lights change to green the white car should. Wait for the cyclist to pull away. Move off quickly and turn in front of the cyclist. Move close up to the cyclist to beat the lights. Sound the horn to warn the cyclist. The correct answer is, wait for the cyclist to pull away. If you are waiting at traffic lights, check all around you before you move away, as cyclists often filter through waiting traffic. Allow the cyclist to move off safely. Question 27 of 97. You take some cough medicine given to you by a friend. What should you do before driving? Ask your friend if taking the medicine affected their driving. Drink some strong coffee one hour before driving. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. Drive a short distance to see if the medicine is affecting your driving. The correct answer is, check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. Never drive if you have taken drugs without first checking what the side effects might be. They might affect your judgment and perception, and therefore endanger lives. Question 28 of 97. You are behind this cyclist. When the traffic lights change, what should you do? Try to move off before the cyclist. Allow the cyclist time and room. Turn right but give the cyclist room. Tap your horn and drive through first. The correct answer is, allow the cyclist time and room. Hold back and allow the cyclist to move off. In some towns, junctions have special areas marked across the front of the traffic lane. These allow cyclists to wait for the lights to change and move off ahead of other traffic. Question 29 of 97. What will be a serious distraction from driving? Looking at road maps, switching on your D-Mister, using your windscreen washes, looking in your wing mirror. The correct answer is, looking at road maps. Looking at road maps while driving is very dangerous. If you aren't sure of your route, stop in a safe place and check the map. You must not allow anything to take your attention away from the road while you're driving. Question 30 of 97. During periods of illness your ability to drive may be impaired. You must see your doctor each time before you drive. Only take smaller doses of any medicines. Be medically fit to drive. Take all your medicines with you when you drive. The correct answer is, be medically fit to drive. Be responsible and only drive if you are fit to do so. Some medication can affect your concentration and judgment when dealing with hazards. It may also cause you to become drowsy or even fall asleep. Driving while taking such medication is highly dangerous. Question 31 of 97. You are following a slower moving vehicle on a narrow country road. There is a junction just ahead on the right. What should you do? Overtake after checking your mirrors and signaling. Stay behind until you have passed the junction. Accelerate quickly to pass before the junction. Slow down and prepare to overtake on the left. The correct answer is, stay behind until you have passed the junction. 
you should never overtake as you approach a junction. If a vehicle emerged from the junction while you were overtaking, a dangerous situation could develop very quickly. Question 32 of 97. What should the driver of the grey car, arrowed, be especially aware of? The uneven road surface, traffic following behind, doors opening on parked cars, empty parking spaces. The correct answer is, doors opening on parked cars. When passing parked cars, there's a risk that a driver or passenger may not check before opening the door into the road. A defensive driver will drive slowly and be looking for people who may be about to get out of their car. Question 33 of 97. After passing your driving test, you suffer from ill health. This affects your driving. You must inform your local police station. Avoid using motorways. Always drive accompanied. Inform the licensing authority. The correct answer is, inform the licensing authority. The licensing authority won't automatically take away your license without investigation. For advice, contact the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, or DVA in Northern Ireland. Question 34 of 97. What type of vehicle could you expect to meet in the middle of the road? Lorry, bicycle, car, motorcycle. The correct answer is, lorry. The highest point of the bridge is in the center so a large vehicle might have to move to the center of the road to allow it enough room to pass under the bridge. Question 35 of 97. If you are feeling tired it is best to stop as soon as you can. Until then you should increase your speed to find a stopping place quickly. Ensure a supply of fresh air. Gently tap the steering wheel. Keep changing speed to improve concentration. The correct answer is, ensure a supply of fresh air. If you're going on a long journey, plan your route before you leave. This will help you to be decisive at intersections and junctions, plan rest stops and have an idea of how long the journey will take. Make sure your vehicle is well ventilated to stop you becoming drowsy. You need to maintain concentration so that your judgment is not impaired. Question 36 of 97. This yellow sign on a vehicle indicates this is a broken down vehicle, a school bus, an ice cream van, a private ambulance. The correct answer is a school bus. Buses which carry children to and from school may stop at places other than scheduled bus stops. Be aware that they might pull over at any time to allow children to get on or off. This will normally be when traffic is heavy during rush hour. Question 37 of 97. When should you use hazard warning lights? When you are double parked on a two-way road. When your direction indicators are not working. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. When your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. The correct answer is, when your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. Hazard warning lights are an important safety feature and should be used if you have broken down and are causing an obstruction. Don't use them as an excuse to park illegally such as when using a cash machine or post box. You may also use them on motorways to warn traffic behind you of danger ahead. Question 38 of 97. At this blind junction you must stop. Behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Beyond the line at a point where you can see clearly. Only if there is traffic on the main road. Only if you are turning to the right. The correct answer is, behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. The stop sign has been put here because there is a poor view into the main road. You must stop because it will not be possible to assess the situation on the move, however slowly you are traveling. Question 39 of 97. What is the main hazard shown in this picture? Vehicles turning right. Vehicles doing U-turns. The cyclist crossing the road. Parked cars around the corner. The correct answer is, the cyclist crossing the road. Look at the picture carefully and try to imagine you're there. 
The cyclist in this picture appears to be trying to cross the road. You must be able to deal with the unexpected, especially when you're approaching a hazardous junction. Look well ahead to give yourself time to deal with any hazards. Question 40 of 97. You take the wrong route and find you are on a one-way street. You should reverse out of the road, turn round in a side road, continue to the end of the road, reverse into a driveway. The correct answer is, continue to the end of the road, never reverse or turn your vehicle around in a one-way street. This is highly dangerous. Carry on and find another route. Checking the direction signs as you drive. If you need to check a map, first stop in a safe place. Question 41 of 97. How does alcohol affect you? It speeds up your reactions. It increases your awareness. It improves your coordination. It reduces your concentration. The correct answer is, it reduces your concentration. Concentration and good judgment are needed at all times to be a good, safe driver. Don't put yourself or others at risk by drinking and driving. Question 42 of 97. You are driving towards this left-hand bend. What dangers should you be aware of? A vehicle overtaking you. No white lines in the center of the road. No sign to warn you of the bend. Pedestrians walking towards you. The correct answer is, pedestrians walking towards you. Pedestrians walking on a road with no pavement should walk against the direction of the traffic. You can't see around this bend, there may be hidden dangers. Always keep this in mind so you give yourself time to react if a hazard does arise. Question 43 of 97. You are invited to a pub lunch. You know that you will have to drive in the evening. What is your best course of action? Avoid mixing your alcoholic drinks. Not drink any alcohol at all. Have some milk before drinking alcohol. Eat a hot meal with your alcoholic drinks. The correct answer is, not drink any alcohol at all. Alcohol will stay in the body for several hours and may make you unfit to drive later in the day. Drinking during the day will also affect your performance at work or study. Question 44 of 97. You are driving towards this level crossing. What would be the first warning of an approaching train? Both half barriers down, a steady amber light. One half barrier down, twin flashing red lights. The correct answer is, a steady amber light. The steady amber light will be followed by twin flashing red lights that mean you must stop. An alarm will also sound to alert you to the fact that a train is approaching. Question 45 of 97. Why must you take extra care when turning right at this junction? Road surface is poor. Footpaths are narrow. Road markings are faint. There is reduced visibility. The correct answer is, there is reduced visibility. You may have to pull forward slowly until you can see up and down the road. Be aware that the traffic approaching the junction can't see you either. If you don't know that it's clear, don't go. Question 46 of 97. What is an effect of drinking alcohol? Poor judgment of speed. A loss of confidence. Faster reactions. Greater awareness of danger. The correct answer is, poor judgment of speed. Alcohol will severely reduce your ability to drive or ride safely and there are serious consequences if you're caught over the drink drive limit. It's known that alcohol can affect your judgment, cause overconfidence and reduced coordination and control. Question 47 of 97. As a provisional license holder, you mustn't drive a motor car at more than 40 miles per hour with passengers in the rear seats. On the motorway, between 11.30 p.m. and 7 a.m., the correct answer is, on the motorway, when you've passed your practical test you'll be able to drive on a motorway. It's recommended that you have instruction on motorway driving before you venture out on your own. Ask your instructor about this. Question 48 of 97. 
Why should you be cautious when going past this stationary bus? There is traffic approaching in the distance. The driver may open the door. People may cross the road in front of it. The road surface will be slippery. The correct answer is, people may cross the road in front of it. A stationary bus at a bus stop can hide pedestrians who might try to cross the road just in front of it. Drive at a speed that will enable you to respond safely if you have to. Question 49 of 97. You are driving along this road. The driver on the left is reversing from a driveway. You should move to the opposite side of the road. Drive through as you have priority. Sound your horn and be prepared to stop. Speed up and drive through quickly. The correct answer is, sound your horn and be prepared to stop. White lights at the rear of a car show that it is about to reverse. Sound your horn to warn of your presence and reduce your speed as a precaution. Question 50 of 97. You have been convicted of driving whilst unfit through drink or drugs. You will find this is likely to cause the cost of one of the following to rise considerably. Which one? Road fund license, insurance premiums, vehicle test certificate, driving license. The correct answer is, insurance premiums. You have shown that you are a risk to yourself and others on the road. For this reason insurance companies may charge you a higher premium. Question 51 of 97. You see this sign ahead. You should expect the road to go steeply uphill, go steeply downhill, then sharply to the left, then sharply to the right. The correct answer is, then sharply to the left. Adjust your speed in good time and select the correct gear for your speed. Going too fast into the bend could cause you to lose control. Braking late and harshly while changing direction reduces your vehicle's grip on the road and is likely to cause a skid. Question 52 of 97. What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party? Have a strong cup of coffee and then drive home. Drive home carefully and slowly. Go home by public transport. Wait a short while and then drive home. The correct answer is, go home by public transport. Drinking black coffee or waiting a few hours won't make any difference. Alcohol takes time to leave the body. A driver who has been drinking should go home by public transport or taxi. They might even be unfit to drive the following morning. Question 53 of 97. While driving, you see this sign ahead. You should stop at the sign. Slow, but continue around the bend. Slow to a crawl and continue. Stop and look for open farm gates. The correct answer is, slow, but continue around the bend. Drive around the bend at a steady speed in the correct gear. Be aware that you might have to stop for approaching trains. Question 54 of 97. A driver pulls out of a side road in front of you. You have to brake hard. You should ignore the error and stay calm. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. Sound your horn to show your annoyance. Overtake as soon as possible. The correct answer is, ignore the error and stay calm. Where there are a number of side roads, be alert. Be especially careful if there are a lot of parked vehicles because they can make it more difficult for drivers emerging to see you. Try to be tolerant if a vehicle does emerge and you have to brake quickly. Don't react aggressively. Question 55 of 97. Hazard warning lights should be used when vehicles are broken down and causing an obstruction. Faulty and moving slowly. Being towed along a road. Reversing into a side road. The correct answer is broken down and causing an obstruction. Don't use hazard lights as an excuse for illegal parking. If you do use them, don't forget to switch them off when you move away. There must be a warning light on the control panel to show when the hazard lights are in operation. Question 56 of 97. In areas where there are traffic calming measures you should travel at a reduced speed. Always travel at the speed limit. 
position in the center of the road. Only slow down if pedestrians are near. The correct answer is, travel at a reduced speed. Traffic calming measures such as road humps, chicanes and narrowings are intended to slow you down. Maintain a reduced speed until you reach the end of these features. They are there to protect pedestrians. Kill your speed. Question 57 of 97. What hazard should you be aware of when driving along this street? Glare from the sun. Lack of road markings. Children running out between vehicles. Large goods vehicles. The correct answer is, children running out between vehicles. On roads where there are many parked vehicles you might not be able to see children between parked cars and they may run out into the road without looking. Question 58 of 97. You are about to drive home. You cannot find the glasses you need to wear. You should drive home slowly, keeping to quiet roads. Borrow a friend's glasses and use those. Drive home at night, so that the lights will help you. Find a way of getting home without driving. The correct answer is, find a way of getting home without driving. Don't be tempted to drive if you've lost or forgotten your glasses. You must be able to see clearly when driving. Question 59 of 97. You're about to drive home. You feel very tired and have a severe headache. You should wait until you are fit and well before driving. Drive home, but take a tablet for headaches. Drive home if you can stay awake for the journey. Wait for a short time, then drive home slowly. The correct answer is, wait until you are fit and well before driving. All your concentration should be on your driving. Any pain you feel will distract you and you should avoid driving when drowsy. The safest course of action is to wait until you have rested and feel better. Question 60 of 97. You want to turn left at this junction. The view of the main road is restricted. What should you do? Stay well back and wait to see if something comes. Build up your speed so that you can emerge quickly. Stop and apply the handbrake even if the road is clear. Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. The correct answer is... Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. You should slow right down and stop if necessary. At any junction where the view is restricted, edge forward until you can see properly. Only then can you decide if it is safe to go. Question 61 of 97. You are approaching a crossroads. The traffic lights have failed. What should you do? Brake and stop only for large vehicles. Break sharply to a stop before looking. Be prepared to break sharply to a stop. Be prepared to stop for any traffic. The correct answer is, be prepared to stop for any traffic. When approaching a junction where the traffic lights have failed, you should proceed with caution. Treat the situation as an unmarked junction and be prepared to stop. Question 62 of 97. You're driving along this motorway. It's raining. When following this lorry you should allow at least a two second gap. Move left and drive on the hard shoulder. Move right and stay in the right hand lane. Be aware of spray reducing your vision. The correct answer is, be aware of spray reducing your vision. The usual two second time gap will increase to four seconds when the roads are wet. If you stay well back you'll be able to see past the vehicle. Be out of the spray thrown up by the lorry's tires, give yourself more time to stop if the need arises, and increase your chances of being seen by the lorry driver. Question 63 of 97. As a driver you find that your eyesight has become very poor. Your optician says they cannot help you. The law says that you should tell the licensing authority, your own doctor, the local police station, another optician. The correct answer is, the licensing authority. This will have a serious effect on your judgment and concentration. If you cannot meet the eyesight requirements you must tell DVLA or DVA in Northern Ireland. Question 64 of 97. 
Drinking any amount of alcohol is likely to affect your judgment of speed. Increase the speed of your reactions. Lower your driving confidence. Improve your awareness of dengue. The correct answer is, affect your judgment of speed. If you're going to drive, the safest option is not to drink at all. Your judgment will be seriously impaired and it's not worth the risk to yourself and other road users. Question 65 of 97. What can seriously affect your ability to concentrate? Drugs, busy roads, tinted windows, contact lenses. The correct answer is, drugs. Both recreational drugs and prescribed medicine can affect your concentration. It's also now an offense to drive with certain drugs in your body and a positive test could lead to a conviction. Question 66 of 97. When approaching this hazard why should you slow down? Because of the level crossing. Because it's hard to see to the right. Because of approaching traffic. Because of animals crossing. The correct answer is, because of the level crossing. You should be slowing down and selecting the correct gear in case you have to stop at the level crossing. Look for the signals and be prepared to stop if necessary. Question 67 of 97. You should reduce your speed when driving along this road because there is a low bridge ahead. There is a change in the road surface. There is a staggered junction ahead. The road ahead narrows. The correct answer is, there is a staggered junction ahead. Traffic could be turning off ahead of you, to the left or right. Vehicles turning left will be slowing down before the junction and any vehicles turning right may have to stop to allow oncoming traffic to clear. Be prepared for this as you might have to slow down or stop behind them. Question 68 of 97. You are planning a long journey. Do you need to plan rest stops? Yes, you should plan to stop every half an hour. Yes, regular stops help concentration. No. You will be less tired if you get there as soon as possible. No, only fuel stops will be needed. The correct answer is, yes, regular stops help concentration. Try to plan your journey so that you can take rest stops. It's recommended that you take a break of at least 15 minutes after every two hours of driving or riding. This should help to maintain your concentration. Question 69 of 97. What might you expect to happen in this situation? Traffic will move into the right-hand lane. Traffic speed will increase. Traffic will move into the left-hand lane. Traffic will not need to change position. The correct answer is, traffic will move into the left-hand lane. Be courteous and allow the traffic to merge into the left-hand lane. Question 70 of 97. What is the main hazard you should be aware of when following this cyclist? The cyclist may move to the left and dismount. The cyclist may swerve out into the road. The contents of the cyclist's carrier may fall onto the road. The cyclist may wish to turn right at the end of the road. The correct answer is, the cyclist may swerve out into the road. When following a cyclist be aware that they have to deal with the hazards around them. They may wobble or swerve to avoid a pothole in the road or see a potential hazard and change direction suddenly. Don't follow them too closely or rev your engine impatiently. Question 71 of 97. You're not sure if your cough medicine will affect your ability to drive safely. What should you do? Take your medicine with food. Drive if you feel alright. Ask a friend or relative for advice. Check the medicine label. The correct answer is, check the medicine label. If you're taking medicine or drugs prescribed by your doctor, check to ensure that they won't make you drowsy. If you forget to ask at the time of your visit to the surgery, check with your pharmacist. Some over-the-counter medication can also cause drowsiness. Read the label and don't drive if you're affected. Question 72 of 97. What's a common effect of drinking alcohol? Color blindness. Increased confidence. Faster reactions. Increased concentration. 
The correct answer is increased confidence. Alcohol can increase confidence to a point where a driver's behavior might become out of character. Someone who normally behaves sensibly might suddenly enjoy taking risks. Never let yourself or your friends get into this situation. Question 73 of 97. You have just been overtaken by this motorcyclist who is cutting in sharply. You should sound the horn, brake firmly, keep a safe gap, flash your lights. The correct answer is keep a safe gap. If another vehicle cuts in too sharply, ease off the accelerator and drop back to allow a safe separation distance. Try not to overreact by braking sharply or swerving, as you could lose control. If vehicles behind you are too close or unprepared, it could lead to a crash. Question 74 of 97. You feel drowsy when driving. You should stop and rest as soon as possible. Turn the heater up to keep you warm and comfortable. Close the car windows to help you concentrate. Continue with your journey but drive more slowly. The correct answer is stop and rest as soon as possible. You'll be putting other road users at risk if you continue to drive when drowsy. Pull over and stop in a safe place. If you're driving a long distance, think about finding some accommodation so you can get some sleep before continuing your journey. Question 75 of 97. Your motorway journey seems boring and you feel drowsy. What should you do? Stop on the hard shoulder for a sleep. Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. Speed up to arrive at your destination sooner. Slow down and let other drivers overtake. The correct answer is, open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. Never stop on the hard shoulder to rest. If there is no service station for several miles, leave the motorway at the next exit and find somewhere safe and legal to pull over. Question 76 of 97. You find that you need glasses to read vehicle number plates at the required distance. When must you wear them? Only in bad weather conditions. Only when you think it necessary. Only in bad light or at night time. At all times when driving. The correct answer is, at all times when driving. Have your eyesight tested before you start your practical training. Then... Throughout your driving life, have checks periodically to ensure that your eyes haven't deteriorated. Question 77 of 97. Driving long distances can be tiring. You can prevent this by eating a large meal before driving, having regular refreshment breaks, playing loud music in the car, completing the journey without stopping. The correct answer is having regular refreshment breaks. Long distance driving can be boring. This coupled with a stuffy, warm vehicle can make you feel tired. Make sure you take rest breaks to keep yourself awake and alert. Stop in a safe place before you get to the stage of fighting sleep. Question 78 of 97. You start to feel tired while driving. What should you do? Increase your speed slightly. Decrease your speed slightly. Find a less busy route. Pull over at a safe place to rest. The correct answer is, pull over at a safe place to rest. If you start to feel tired, stop at a safe place for a rest break. Every year many fatal incidents are caused by drivers falling asleep at the wheel. Question 79 of 97. You are approaching this cyclist. You should overtake before the cyclist gets to the junction flash your headlights at the cyclist slow down and allow the cyclist to turn overtake the cyclist on the left hand side the correct answer is slow down and allow the cyclist to turn keep well back and allow the cyclist room to take up the correct position for the turn don't get too close behind or try to squeeze past Question 80 of 97. Why are mirrors often slightly curved convex? They give a wider field of vision. They totally cover blind spots. They make it easier to judge the speed of following traffic. 
they make following traffic look bigger. The correct answer is, they give a wider field of vision, although a convex mirror gives a wide view of the scene behind. You should be aware that it will not show you everything behind or to the side of the vehicle. Before you move off you will need to check over your shoulder to look for anything not visible in the mirrors. Question 81 of 97. Which road user has caused a hazard? The parked car, arrow A. The pedestrian waiting to cross, arrow B. The moving car, arrow C. The car turning, arrow D. The correct answer is, the parked car, arrow A. The car arrow A is parked within the area marked by zigzag lines at the pedestrian crossing. Parking here is illegal. It also blocks the view for pedestrians wishing to cross the road and restricts the view of the crossing for approaching traffic. Question 82 of 97. What does the solid white line at the side of the road indicate? Traffic lights ahead, edge of the carriageway, footpath on the left, cycle path. The correct answer is, edge of the carriageway. The continuous white line shows the edge of the carriageway. It can be especially useful when visibility is restricted, for example at night or in bad weather. It is discontinued where it crosses junctions, lay BYS etc. Question 83 of 97. You think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator. You should flash your lights to alert the driver. Sound your horn before overtaking. Overtake on the left if there is room. Stay behind and not overtake. The correct answer is, stay behind and not overtake. The driver may be unsure of the location of a junction and turn suddenly. Be cautious and don't attempt to overtake. Question 84 of 97. What would help to keep you alert during a long journey? Using the heater to keep the car warm. Keeping off the motorways and using country roads. Making sure that you get plenty of fresh air. Drinking a sugary drink while driving. The correct answer is, making sure that you get plenty of fresh air. Make sure that the vehicle you're driving is well ventilated. A warm, stuffy atmosphere will make you feel drowsy. Opening a window and turning down the heating can help you to remain alert on a long journey. Question 85 of 97. You have been involved in an argument before starting your journey. This has made you feel angry. You should start to drive but open a window. Drive slower than normal and turn your radio on. Have an alcoholic drink to help you relax before driving. Calm down before you start to drive. The correct answer is, calm down before you start to drive. If you are feeling upset or angry you should wait until you have calmed down before setting out on a journey. Question 86 of 97. You should not overtake, on a single carriageway, on a one-way street, approaching a junction, traveling up a long hill. The correct answer is, approaching a junction, you should overtake only when it's really necessary and you can see it's clear ahead. Look out for road signs and markings that show it's illegal or would be unsafe to overtake, for example approaching junctions or bends. In many cases overtaking is unlikely to significantly improve your journey time. Question 87 of 97. You are driving on a road with several lanes. You see these signs above the lanes. What do they mean? The two right lanes are open. The two left lanes are open. Traffic in the left lanes should stop. Traffic in the right lanes should stop. The correct answer is, the two left lanes are open. If you see a red cross above your lane it means that there is an obstruction ahead. You will have to move into one of the lanes which is showing the green light. If all the lanes are showing a red cross then you must stop. Question 88 of 97. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights. Just before turning you should check your right mirror, move close up to the white car, straddle the lanes, check for bicycles on your left. The correct answer is, check for bicycles on your left. 
check your near side for cyclists before moving away. This is especially important if you have been in a stationary queue of traffic and are about to move off, as cyclists often try to filter past on the near side of stationary vehicles. Question 89 of 97. You have been taking medicine for a few days which made you feel drowsy. Today you feel better but still need to take the medicine. You should only drive, if your journey is necessary, at night on quiet roads. If someone goes with you, after checking with your doctor, the correct answer is, after checking with your doctor, take care, it's not worth taking risks. Always check with your doctor to be really sure. You may not feel drowsy now, but the medicine could have an effect on you later in the day. Question 90 of 97. What should the driver of the red car, Arrow, do? Wave the pedestrians who are waiting to cross. Wait for the pedestrian in the road to cross. Quickly drive behind the pedestrian in the road. Tell the pedestrian in the road she should not have crossed. The correct answer is, quickly drive behind the pedestrian in the road. Some people might take longer to cross the road. They may be older or have a disability. Be patient and don't hurry them by showing your impatience. They might have poor eyesight or not be able to hear traffic approaching. If pedestrians are standing at the side of the road, don't signal or wave them to cross. Other road users may not have seen your signal and this could lead the pedestrians into a hazardous situation. Question 91 of 97. You are taking drugs that are likely to affect your driving. What should you do? Seek medical advice before driving. Limit your driving to essential journeys. Only drive if accompanied by a full license holder. Drive only for short distances. The correct answer is, seek medical advice before driving. Check with your doctor or pharmacist if you think that the drugs you're taking are likely to make you feel drowsy or impair your judgment. Question 92 of 97. You are driving at 60 miles per hour. As you approach this hazard you should maintain your speed, reduce your speed, take the next right turn, take the next left turn. The correct answer is, reduce your speed. There could be stationary traffic ahead, waiting to turn right. Other traffic could be emerging and it may take time for them to gather speed. Question 93 of 97. You are driving on this dual carriageway. Why may you need to slow down? There is a broken white line in the center. There are solid white lines either side. There are roadworks ahead of you. There are no footpaths. The correct answer is, there are roadworks ahead of you. Look well ahead and read any road signs as you drive. They are there to inform you of what is ahead. In this case you may need to slow right down and change direction. Make sure you can take whatever action is necessary in plenty of time. Check your mirrors so you know what is happening around you before you change speed or direction. Question 94 of 97. Which of the following types of glasses should not be worn when driving at night? Half moon, round, bifocal, tinted. The correct answer is, tinted. If you are driving at night or in poor visibility, tinted lenses will reduce the efficiency of your vision. By reducing the amount of available light reaching your eyes. Question 95 of 97. The red lights are flashing. What should you do when approaching this level crossing? Go through quickly. Go through carefully. Stop before the barrier. Switch on hazard warning lights. The correct answer is, stop before the barrier. At level crossings the red lights flash before and when the barrier is down. At most crossings an amber light will precede the red lights. You must stop behind the white line unless you have already crossed it when the amber light comes on. Never zigzag around half barriers. Question 96 of 97. Where would you expect to see these markers? On a motorway sign, on a railway bridge, on a diversion sign, on a large goods vehicle. The correct answer is, on a large goods vehicle. 
These markers must be fitted to vehicles over 13 meters long, large goods vehicles, and rubbish skips placed in the road. They are reflective to make them easier to see in the dark. Question 97 of 97. Would you like free study reminders?